Hello and thank you again for watching another video of Palo Alto video training series. In this video I'm going to talk about Panorama, what it is and how it works a little bit. As you might already know, Panorama is the management the station or management platform of Palo Alto Power Wall. So basically what it does is um, it gives you that kind of central management point of view so you can have you can register all of your firewalls to the panorama and you could rather than going through different interfaces of the firewalls if you have a range of firewalls let's say if you have 50 60 100 firewalls you don't have to go to each individual to set them up you can have a single management interface for all of your firewalls and manage them through that as well as it gives you features to create templates and things like that so you can um, create a template for a range of your firewalls and push it to the firewall so you don't have to um, set up the same policies individually on each firewalls. It also um, is a central point of uh, logging and monitoring for your firewalls as well so basically you will receive all of your firewalls logs and data on Palo Alto sorry on Panorama and uh, you can review the logs and you can have that kind of a global visibility on your Panorama rather than uh, viewing individual firewalls so for this exercise I have <coughs> set up two devices there are two virtual machines Panorama is again a virtual machine so it's an OVA file you can download it. Um, I can uh, provide the download details um, on, on the discussions um, section of the training. So you could go ahead and download the Panorama OVA file. So it's again a virtual machine. All you need is a VMware and uh, you could basically import that OVA into VMware and you'll have your panorama up and running. Um, I have already done this. I've got two devices up and running. One is firewall, which is a Palo Alto firewall again, the same as what we've been discussing in the previous videos. The IP address is 192.168.253.20. That's the management IP address, and I've got the panorama with the IP address of 192.168.253.10. So just quickly to show you how it's done, you can see that you've got two virtual machines installed, but um, all you need to do is just install VMware, or if you already have VMware, all you need to do is just open the virtual machine and just basically import the OVA file, and it will install the uh, Panorama and Palo Alto for you. And if you basically go to the settings, Sorry, just uh, quickly so I think it's not letting me to change that because I've got I've got them open somewhere else. So I'm just going to go there and show you the, the settings on the actual machine itself. So if you go to virtual machine settings, so you can see basically it will do all these configuration for you automatically but um, what I've done I've got one of these network adapters which is the management interface of the firewall uh, connected to VMNet 1 because I want to be able to use the web interface um, through my PC and I've got 192.168.253.20 and the firewall.10 on panorama and on um, on the actual um, um, PC on my PC what I have here is 192.168.253.1 so that's uh, 
basically it. Um, the next step after importing the um, image to the VMware, what you need to do, you need to obviously log in. And as I mentioned previously in my other videos, the first step is obviously setting up a management IP address so you, you will be able to um, kind of connect to the device. So you have to go configure and you have to set device config and system IP address so you for the firewall we have set up 192.168.253.20 and net mask of 255.255.255.0 so that's that's basically what we've done on the Palo Alto firewall and <coughs> exactly the same command will will do the same job on your panorama so you could again go to the configuration mode and go to device config system IP address etc so you could set up the same so I've got the IP addresses uh, set up. So that's the only thing I have done on these devices. They have no other configuration. So if we try to log into the interface, so you can see got 253.10, which is basically my panorama. I can log into it with the default username and password. So it's obviously prompting me not to use the default username and password. That's fine. So this is I'm going to close the so this is basically as you can see this is the um, interface of the panorama so we've got the monitoring ACC and the panorama section so the dashboard is pretty clear is pretty similar to to the dashboard of Palo Alto firewalls I'm going to log into the Palo Alto firewall as well so you could basically compare these two again same prompts that's okay okay so you can see the <coughs> there's a similar dashboard here as well so you can see there are more tabs obviously on uh, Palo Alto firewall less tabs on panorama but that's because we don't have any device registered and we don't have really any template created yet so I show you in a minute where uh, when other obviously things will appear in here as well. Um, so the dashboard tab, as I said, is pretty similar, pretty generic stuff. Device name, IP addresses, logs, and stuff you could see here. Um, first thing we want to do, we want to basically register our firewall here with Panorama. So to be able to do that, we have to go to the Panorama menu and you see there is a section for managed devices in there so we just click on manage devices and what we need here to be able to add a new device is the serial number of the device so what I what we actually need we need the serial number of the virtual machine um, however if you're using if you're testing on virtual machines your your virtual machines they don't really have any serial number unless you get them um, registered and you have a license by the license for them so you need you do need a trial license from Palo Alto to actually have a serial number on virtual machines otherwise they won't have a serial number and you won't be able to do these um, it should be pretty straightforward so if you if you ask them they should be able to give you like one month or two months trial anyway so that shouldn't really be, be, be a big problem so we go um, to find the serial number we go back to our, our firewall here and we just sorry just close my 
Okay. So to be able to see the serial number, you can see on the dashboard of my uh, firewall, I have serial number right here. So I'm just going to copy that and just go there and paste it. Okay. So you see the device is added, uh, but obviously it's not connected because our firewall doesn't know about the panorama yet. So we go back to our firewall and we go to device configuration. And you see there is a section for panorama settings. So we just click on that and type the IP address of our panorama, which is the 10. So we commit the change here and we go back and commit the change on our panorama as well. So when you're actually committing a change on panorama it gives you multiple options to commit a template or to commit the change to multiple devices or to commit it to panorama itself. So in this case we would just want to commit it to panorama itself. So we just wait for the configuration to be completed so that's uh, done on the firewall just go and check the panorama so that should be pretty much all we need to get the firewall registered with our panorama management station so it's pretty simple uh, nothing really rock science it is a very simple process so you see my device got connected so I have uh, basically the device IP address and the device serial number and status shows us as connected. So that's, that device is essentially being managed by Panorama right now. Um, so I can pretty much do all the changes that I need uh, through the Panorama interface rather than doing it on the device itself. So if I just click on here, so you can you should be able to see a list of all of the devices that you have and templates that you created and all those kind of things so you can see that my device is just right right there so if I click on the device it will actually try to connect to the device and it will try to basically manage that device um, through the web interface and through um, kind of Palo Alto uh, panorama so you can see that it looks like that I'm on the device and I can obviously do the changes and everything. So this is whatever I change here, it will be uh, basically a change on the firewall. But if I click here and go back to Panorama, it will just go back to Panorama and um, again I can keep doing the configuration on panorama side. So this is kind of it um, for the beginning to just get a device registered. So on the next video I'm going to show you a little bit about templates and how we can create templates and how we can basically push them um, to, to, through the firewall. Thank you very much for watching.